So this video will be about rollbacks, transaction rollbacks. So my other videos, I did transaction basics, types, and examples in Java. I also looked at SQL batch updates, and my last video here is going to be on transaction rollbacks. So when we're doing transactions, so I did some transactions here with this withdraw thing. So this simple example, we're just updating an account and making sure that we don't have these um, repeatable read uh, problems here. So what we want to also ensure is sometimes we want actually to cancel a commit that we have uh, going on. There can be different reasons for that, but imagine that we are working with some kind of uh, user and we're doing some updates. Let's say that the user is selecting different items in a cart or something like that and he's locking these items in and then at some point he wants to do a transaction and we find out in the middle of everything let's say that it's right here that this guy um, doesn't want to pay anyway or something like that so what what we could do here is then or we maybe check to see if he actually has uh, credit value or something like that. So if we at any point we want to stop the transaction, we can say uh, roll back like that, and then we can roll back to whatever uh, place we were when we started the transaction. So that means whenever we set the auto commit to false. So that's basically it of the rollback. If we don't call rollback, and we don't commit anything, then uh, if commit has, is, isn't done here, then um, it will roll back to the point it was before as well. So, but uh, it can be sometimes we would want to roll back immediately. For example, if we had something like an exception or something like that, um, we, could, we could say roll back here uh, now this is outside of the connection. We would have to make the connection av available here, but we can then roll back and make sure that that uh, everything was rolled back to normal. So, so that's often something that we would do like that. So I won't go into a lot of examples with that. Just say that this is something you can do. There's also something else. So we can do something called a save point. So what we can do is, for example, after doing the first uh, part of the transaction, we can say save point, save point equals, and what we want to do then is we want to uh, set the save point on the connection like that. So what we have done here is effectively we've set a save point and this means we won't roll back the entire transaction but only the one we're doing right now. So let's imagine we've been adding a lot of users and everything and then we want to set a connection for something else than the users and that actually fails. Then we might be able just to go back to the last save point and retry this part of it. Maybe we need to do something first or anything like that. So when we use the rollback, we can actually, instead of just doing uh, con rollback, we can actually set the save point here. So if I type rollback to the save point, it will actually go up here uh, to this point in time. And then I can also from here, I can commit whatever is on the connection. So this is two different ways we can roll back. We can roll back to the beginning of the transaction to whenever uh, last time we committed, so when we say rollback like this, we just go back to the last uh, thing that has been committed to the database. So in this case, where we start up here, we would go right up here. It doesn't loop up here in the side of the code, of course, it will just go back to the same state in the database. When we put a save point here, we can jump back to that save point but still, we're talking about the database, not the code ex itself, of course. So that's basically it with uh, rollback. And there's also some other things like we can do um, 
let's say there's this one called release uh, save point so if at some point we don't want that save point anyway we can say release uh, the save point and it will release this one and then the and the, then we can't use that save point anymore so something like that yeah that's that's basically it so if you look into the documentation for uh, jdbc and java you can see that they would recommend that you always do rollback so that you don't really as i just mentioned it should roll back anyway but if you do have any uh errors or something you should you should probably roll back to be 100 percent sure that the database will actually roll back to before you before you uh, committed anything so so that's that's the recommendation from from oracle to do that that's it for a very short video on rollback